Aortic stenosis is a disease of one of the heart valves. The big blood vessel that comes out of the heart is called the aorta. It then branches and carries blood to our brain, arms, legs, liver, kidneys, everywhere. The aortic valve sits at the base of the aorta and functions as a, as a gatekeeper uh, for the heart. Every time the heart contracts, the aortic valve opens and lets blood out into the aorta and to all the rest of the organs of the body. Every time the heart relaxes, the aortic valve closes to make sure the blood doesn't spill right back into the heart. What happens as people age is that the aortic valve starts to become calcified and stiff and doesn't open as well as it normally would. So once aortic stenosis starts to set in, the aortic valve, instead of opening all the way with every heartbeat, starts to open very narrowly. What that leads to is three broad categories of symptoms. Firstly, with the heart pumping against a narrower orifice, it puts extra strain on the heart, which would manifest as symptoms of chest pain or pressure or heaviness or tightness in the chest. The second set of symptoms that it causes is by not allowing enough blood to make its way to the brain. When there's a narrower opening, not enough blood is let out of the heart. This leads to symptoms of lightheadedness or dizziness, people feeling lightheaded, almost passing out or actually passing out. And the third set of symptoms that it can lead to is by backing up of blood and fluid in the lungs, leading to trouble breathing. So broadly, there is chest pain, pressure, heaviness or tightness, lightheadedness, dizziness, passing out or almost passing out, and symptoms of trouble breathing. The other challenge that aortic stenosis poses is that once it becomes bad enough to start causing symptoms, it cuts short the lifespan of the patient significantly. Classically, the treatment for uh, aortic stenosis that is bad enough to cause symptoms has been through surgical aortic valve replacement, where the, the chest is cut open, the narrow, tight stenotic valve is removed, and a new uh, valve is sutured in place. Now, however, there are more uh, contemporary uh, alternatives to this that involve uh, uh, going up through the blood vessels in the legs using catheters and tubes and, and uh, putting in a new valve. Uh, my name is Umair Malik. I'm one of the memorial cardiologists. We are memorial.